Good evening, y'all. Welcome back to Apron Strings. Good grief, it's been a while since I was here. Probably about four weeks. I had my teeth pulled, had dry sockets. They're still tender, but I'm able to eat without wanting to squeal. And I've got guys here working still. It's been an ongoing process. When it's finished, I'm gonna show y'all what I've done, but it's pretty and I'm so thankful. But it's been people at my house with me feeling good or bad all day, nearly about every day. I closed my carport in and made a garage, but I've done a little bit more too, so I'll show y'all that when it's finished. I do have family coming for Thanksgiving, so everything's supposed to be ready for Thanksgiving. So hopefully I'll do a little tour um, next week before Thanksgiving and show y'all what it all looks like. But today I'm going to cook for the workers. And y'all have seen this before, but it's been a long time since I've made it. And I've got so many new subscribers. And thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing in my absence and watching the old videos. That means the whole bunch. But I'm going to make a Mexican casserole. And it's like the um, green chili enchiladas, but I'm making it into a casserole because i got to serve about five guys here in a little bit. Y'all, it's so fun to have somebody to eat. And I can cook a casserole and it's all eaten up. I love it. So I'm going to uh, just point the camera to the butcher block and assemble the casserole. I'm going to use some of my canned chicken, which makes it quick and easy. And if I were not using canned chicken, I would boil probably bone-in thighs because I like the flavor of that better. But today it's canned chicken breast that I'm going to use with the casserole. So get your spot around the butcher block and we'll get going. I'm going to use one of my stoneware um, 9x13s. So even though it's kind of getting for its non-stick from using it so much, I'm going to uh, spray it with panium. and set it aside for just a minute. Now I'm going to chop up one onion and I'm using a white onion today and I'm just going to chop it because I want to just saute it. Well actually I'm going to simmer it in some milk and some of the green enchilada sauce to get it a little bit tender. So let me just get the onion kind of chopped. Got the oven hot. I heard it singing to me. That's a good sound. About like a little young and when you depend on doing one thing, they do something else. The outside of my house was getting very faded and Troy had said not too long before he passed away that we were gonna have to paint the outside of the house. So when I did the new uh, garage part and that extra little room there, I knew that I was gonna have to paint it so they're out there painting the entire house, which makes me feel good because that should last me the rest of my life. Unless I live to be 110. That might be okay too. Y'all planning a big Thanksgiving? We are going to have a wonderful time Thanksgiving. It's actually Troy's first cousin and family. Uh, they sang at his funeral and it's we've been very close to them forever. They're coming for Thanksgiving. It's going to be fun. Let me wash my hands and get the rest of this done. I'm just going to open up a couple of cans of, I like the old El Paso mild green enchilada sauce. So I'm going to put that in here. And my rule of thumb is one cup of uh, milk, one can of milk for each uh, can of enchilada sauce. One of the workers, he and his brother both work for Gary, and uh, he's not working today, so he's been tuning my piano for me. He said, I'll tune your piano if you'll make another video playing. So y'all, y'all gonna have to listen to me play in a few days, because I made a deal. Okay, I put two cans of whole milk, call it sweet milk, in here with the onion and the green enchilada sauce, and I'm just gonna put it on the stove to simmer come up to a simmer and soften those onions just a little bit. Get that going. And 
and I, of course, am going to add a little bit of onion and garlic powder to it. Let me get it out of the cabinet over here. And that was two cans of enchilada sauce and about two tablespoons of onion powder. Probably a couple of teaspoons of garlic. There's one, two. And then I'll brush it off. So that was one large white onion, two cans of the uh, green enchilada sauce, the small cans of Old El Paso brand and a uh, can each of milk. And I'm just gonna let that come up to a simmer so those onions will get soft. Now, I'm gonna take my pan and in the bottom, I'm gonna lay corn tortillas. You can also take each tortilla and roll it up and make enchiladas. But today, I'm just gonna make the casserole because that's easier. I won't feel like I gotta have a bunch of sides if I have a casserole, if I make individual enchiladas, I would need to make beans and rice and everything to go with it and I don't have time. So right now, let me see if I can get this where y'all can see what I'm doing. Is that better? Y'all can see that? Yeah. Um, these are so nice and soft and fresh. I'm just going to put them in here where they'll be layered for a base. And uh, then I'm going to put sour cream on them. And if you were making enchiladas, you would put a layer of sour cream, I mean a little bit of sour cream, and you would put some of the green sauce and your chicken and roll it up. But I'm just going to make a layer. I can go ahead and get my layer ready, and then when this is ready, pour some of it over and continue to layer it until I use everything. I've got to run and get my canned chicken. I'll be right back. Okay, because I'm using my canned chicken, I drained the broth off, and I'm going to add it for extra flavor. I mean, I'm not going to throw it away. So that'll just give a little extra flavor in there. So now what I'm going to do is spread some sour cream on. I usually use Kobe Jack cheese, but today what I have is cheddar jack so that's what I'm going to use I really don't think it'll know the difference so I'm spreading just a layer a thin layer of sour cream get back over there in your spot may have to go get another container of sour cream out of the fridge Mmm, that sour cream mixed with that green sauce, my word, it's good. Okay, well, let me show you. I just spread a good layer of sour cream that kind of hides the tortillas with a little bit above it. So that's how much of that you're going to put. And I like to put a little cheese down, and then my chicken, and then a little bit more cheese, and then my, um, where there's a wheel, there's a way. I sure do appreciate all of y'all that have emailed me to see how I was doing and to tell me you missed me. I like to be missed. It makes me feel good. And I didn't cut enough of that off. And I got guys out there waiting to eat. So I told them I was filming so they wouldn't come busting in here. There you go. I got it. Okay, now y'all know me and cheese. I'm, I'm not measuring. I'm just going to sprinkle cheese on. Some of them boys said they probably gain a pet size eating here every day because it's always something fattening and good. Okay, I'm going to show y'all because I'm not putting a recipe today. You have to watch. Layer of cheese. And then I'm just going to take some of my canned chicken and shred it on there. You can also use rotisserie chicken if you're in a hurry. This is a quick, 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 quick casserole if you have everything you need on hand. 
So that's really going to be about two cups of chicken per layer. Now, I've never done this with smoked chicken, but you could smoke it on the grill if you wanted to. Give it a little flavor boost. Okay, I'm going to let this, uh, it's starting to simmer. And when it's done enough that the, that the onions are a little bit tender, then we'll add that to the top and make our, our next layer. Not really as hot as I would want it to be and the, to give the uh, onions time to tenderize. But I need to get this done for the guys. So if they have a little bit of crunch, I guarantee they're not going to fuss about it. So you just spoon that over. Now if you were making enchiladas, you would just put you a tablespoon or two in there on your cheese, meat, and um, sour cream. And you just want to put it all around. And of course it goes down in there pretty soon. I can't tilt this because it'll spill. But see, I just put it on the top. So I put my tortillas, my shredded, some cheese, my shredded chicken, some cheese, and now I put uh, the sauce. So I'm going to put another layer of my tortillas in there. And these are good and soft and pliable. That's wonderful. Just a minute and I'll see what brand they are. Got them at H-E-B. When I get tacos, when I occasionally go out, I like to get uh, corn tortillas with mine. And these would be great because they're real bendable. These are H-E-B brand. Man, they're good. That's awesome. Okay, a little bit of cheese on top of the tortillas. Oh, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful I'm feeling better. I just know that God puts people in your life that um, He brings for good. And I met Gary who is doing the, um, he's the, he's doing the, con oh, I didn't put my sour cream in, that's what I get for talking. He's doing the construction out there on everything, but he's done so much stuff that just because he's a good Christian guy and uh, he knows what it is to have family, he's got a lovely wife and two daughters and a son-in-law, and he's taking care of his elderly dad, but he's just done stuff just because he knows that Troy's gone and I don't have anybody to help me. He's been such a blessing, such a blessing. And ever since Troy passed away, God's just sent me people to help me because I didn't have anybody. Little Richard has just been stretched from one end to the other trying to help his mom and his nana. And he's just one little person. So I'm very grateful for the help the Lord sent me. And I pray God blesses him because he's blessed me. And he, he's inspiring me. He works a lot of young men. And uh, he, said, I'm he said, I'm building men. I'm teaching them to be gentlemen. And there's things he requires of them working for him that they don't do if they don't have a job. Like they have to respect their mom and their sisters. And um, you just don't hear people that's interested in trying to build men. They're just all about their own self. I really am thankful to have met Gary, which it kind of restores your faith in mankind. There's still people around that want things like they're supposed to be, like the good Lord wants it. Good old fashioned respect. Sometimes when I'm using this canned chicken, I wish it was a little firmer, but now I'm glad I can just shred it with my hands. I always find something good to be happy about, can't you? I went out there this morning, got my hoe, and hoed a little bit in some of my raised beds. I haven't planted my greens yet, but I still have some time on them, and I didn't get anything else planted for the fall. But I do want to plant a few greens, and I like them better anyway after it frosts on them, and they're sweeter, so they'll be good into, you know, 
next year I'll still be eating greens that I play it now. Let me get this chicken off my hands and out from under my fingernails. I'll finish this up. Those guys are hungry. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of seasoning on the top. Because I can, because it's my casserole. And I guess I'll sprinkle a little bit outside the casserole too, because I can. Got a mess there, don't I? Okay, let me get my green sauce on there. And here's the deal, if you're making this and you have a bunch of stuff left, you can make just a few just cheese enchiladas if you wanna. Put your sour cream and cheese in your uh, tortilla and roll it up. But I'm gonna use it all in here. Okay, so I'm gonna add some more cheese on the top. I've got my oven hot at 350. And you just put it in there until the cheese is bubbling. Everything that you put in here is already 100% cooked. So, basically this is about a pound of cheese in here because this was a two pound bag. wipe it down where it won't burn and make a mess on my dish. There we go. I don't think I can tilt it, but I'm bringing it over here. Ooh, it's heavy. See? I'm going to get it in the June oven for 30 minutes at 350. And it should be bubbled in hot and ready to serve my fellers. Okay, y'all. I got it out of the oven. My cheese is browned a little bit. It was all bubbly. It's cooled a little bit more now. And I'm fixing to dish it up and feed my guys. So I just wanted y'all to see what it looked like finished. And I'll try to get you a picture of one of their plates. And it's going to be on fine china. Comes 120 to the package from Costco. <laughs> okay, y'all, I didn't get a picture of a plate because we actually put it in a bowl. I should have tripled those thin corn tortillas because I didn't have enough to soak up all the juice. Now it has soaked it up. But look here, my four guys ate like little piglets and loved it. Okay, y'all, I fed my four guys and they're full and y'all saw, man, they about scraped it down. There's probably two helpings left if you're not very hungry. So I'm thankful it turned out. But though I kept telling y'all how thin those corn tortillas were. I should have tripled them on each layer because when we first started serving it, it was real soupy. So we just put it in a bowl uh, like soup and I had some um, tortillas like you dip dip with and we crumbled that in there and soaked it right up and it was good but it wasn't pretty. But there's always a way to fix it. But after it has set, they have soaked up more of the liquid. But it's a good recipe. It's good if you make it into enchiladas. And it's good if you make it in casserole. So I hope you all have tried if you hadn't already. And like I said, I don't have a recipe card at the end. But I told you as I went along everything that I did. If you have any questions, you can um, email me. And I'll, I'm going to answer your questions. I hope you all are planning for a good Thanksgiving and a big old meal or gumbo or whatever you want around the Texas brisket, whatever. Get your family together and make some memories. Put your phones in a basket and just have some 101 visits with your family and your friends. That'll make it sweet. It'll make good memories. It ain't very good memories when you look around and everybody's on their phone and nobody's looking at you and talking. And I like to talk and I like you to look at me when you talk to me. Don't sit at the table and text me because I won't have my phone there to get it. So plan you a good and then right on to the Christmas holidays and we'll be making Christmas goodies. I'll show y'all again what our favorites are and although I probably did them last year, I'm going to do them again this year and I'll show y'all what I'm doing. And we're going to have goodies on the bar the whole month of December. I'm going to decorate my house like I always have and that's lots of Christmas trees. And I like the decor. If I had to choose getting a present, and I like presents, or having the decorations up and just getting to enjoy it, I would choose being able to decorate because I love it. 
So I'm anxious to get my Christmas stuff out. But I got company coming for Thanksgiving, so I'm not decorating before Thanksgiving. It'll be the day after I'll get busy decorating. So I hope to see y'all again in a day or two. Um, I'm closing in that screen dream. When you go out my back to the garden that always had junk in it, we took the spa out, and I'm closing that in, and I'm going to move all of my sewing stuff in there, which it's right out of, there's a door from my bedroom into that room. So I'll be able to take the sewing room back as a bedroom, and I need that. So I'm kind of on hold right now, showing y'all a video to be able to sew everything. So hopefully real soon I'll be able to get the Christmas fabric out and show y'all if you want a Christmas apron. Or if you go look at last year's Christmas video and you see a fabric you like, you can email me and see if I still have that one. And I can go ahead and get your apron made. But right now, I'm not going to do a new video until I can get my stuff moved and be able to to sew without everything around me because let me tell you doing all this that I'm doing I got stuff piled in every available spot and it's about to drive me crazy I'd be glad when I can show y'all the finished product so I've been busy or they've been busy I've been I've been petting a sore mouth but they've been busy doing and I'm very thankful I'm thankful that Troy had all that junk around out there that I hated so bad that I've been able to sell to make some changes see the good Lord was looking out for me all the time when he had junk that I didn't like and I thought it looked nasty and like a junkyard well that stuff that junk was valuable and I'm very thankful for it and I told the Lord I was sorry for being impatient because he was looking out for my future I hope y'all are having a good day it's cloudy today it's been raining it's cloudy but it hadn't rained yet and I think we're caught up on rain for right now so I'm glad it ain't raining and y'all have a good evening. Have a good week. The good Lord bless and keep you. Please share my channel with your friends. Thankful for every subscriber. We're almost to 22,000. And I'm just ever so grateful. And I hope that I, some of you new ones make comments where I can meet you. And, you know, I'll watch the comments. I know the names of the ones that comment regularly. And if I don't hear from them, I wonder what's wrong. So anyway... The good Lord bless and keep you, and I'll see you real soon.